Today, a Democracy Now! special, Thirsty for Democracy, the Poisoning of an American City. I'm Amy Goodman. We're in Flint, Michigan. It's sunset at the Flint Water Plant. I'm standing in front of the Flint Water Tower. Just down the road is the GM Engine Plant. It was October of 2014 that GM recognized that the Flint Water was corroding its engines. They got permission from the unelected emergency manager of Flint to disconnect from the Flint River and go back to the Detroit water. It would be another year before the people of Flint were finally allowed to disconnect from the corrosive Flint River as their water supply and hook up again with the Detroit water. We're going to go talk to a GM worker who works at the plant and worked there at the time that GM recognized and the state acknowledged that they could no longer use Flint water because it was destroying the engines. My name is Ronald Jameson, known as Coach Hollywood. And how long have you worked at the Flint engine plant? For 39 years, going on 40 this year. Wow. So you were working there when Flint hooked up with the Flint River and was disconnected from the Detroit water supply? Yes. What yeah. happened at the plant? Well, from what I hear, it basically was saying that it was causing corrosion. And what that was causing, they were saying something to the fact of what they were putting in the water. And they were saying, we got this stuff called rust inhibitor that keeps the uh, engines from rusting while they're waiting to have oil put on. And they went, I guess, tested it and found out, I guess, we were putting too much chlorine in the water. And so they told Flint that we're not, you're, you're causing us to lose engines because we have to tear them down and get the rust out before we can put them, send them back. And so the emergency manager gave you a waiver and said you can disconnect from the Flint River and go back to de the Detroit water system? Well, what they did, they made an agreement, from what I hear, that they could leave, but once we got our water back right, that they would come back. And you never got your water right? No. So how did you feel? I mean, you were a worker in the plant, but you're also a Flint resident. And that very water that was causing rust in the engine, you were drinking here in Flint. As a matter of fact, they took all the water fountains out of the plant. We have all water coolers in the, throughout the plant. So what do you think about this? To be serious, I made a joke to one of the supervisors that I was going to sue them because they knew something had to be wrong. And they never said nothing. All they said was, we're not going to use it. That was Ronald Jameson. His friends call him Hollywood. He's worked at the Flint engine plant for 39 years. So the emergency manager decides that to preserve the engines, the GM plant can switch back to the Detroit water system. But the people of Flint could not.